Three, two, one. Happy New Year, everyone. All right, back to serious stuff. All right, folks, welcome to this tutorial where today we're going to work on a droid. But um, where the heck do we even begin? You know, I've always believed that the first step to greatness is admitting you have absolutely no clue what you're doing. Now let's pause for a second and appreciate the sheer terror of this blank space. Welcome to Blender Therapy, where 3D meets serenity. Let's get started. First of all, and forgive me if it seems too obvious, but we've got to start with an idea. I know, groundbreaking stuff, right? But seriously, start with a spark. I often take a stroll through the internet to check out what other 3D artists have done, gather some inspiration, but here's the kicker. I don't want to copy paste. So what's next? Bing Creator. A banana on fire? Absolutely. A cute spherical droid made of emissive parts and metals? Yeah, let's start there. But we're not done yet. Next comes Pure Ref. So dump everything you loved and let's get started. Here's the final result of the modeling and I'm gonna walk you through each part of it. All right, so I've separated all the parts of the model and we're gonna start by the body. Basically, this is just a quad sphere with some holes Hitting. in it. Then we have the most interesting part, that are the panels. They're almost all symmetrical and I'm going to show you a quick way to do this. Next, we have the eye and the lens. So this is basically just a cylinder with some extrusions and insets. And also, I'm also going to show you how to do this. Then we have all the screws. Those are just like kid bash stuff. Then we have all the cables made with Cable Raider. And then we have all the other parts that are all made of cylinders. So here's a quick example on how to do the panels. So I have a body base, which is just a quad sphere. And here I've just extruded some vertices and made some faces with them. And the only thing you have to do is enable the snap to face. Uh, snap with closest and then check align rotation to target so this will uh, stick to the uh, quad sphere you can also add a shrink wrap modifier to it which is basically the same effect so this process of modeling is pretty much uh, how we do retopology when we are sculpting um, whatever xyz and then we want to make some more simple geometry to work with so this is the process of retopology and I found that it's pretty easy to make those kinds of models like panels stuff like uh, you only have to uh, also add a mirror to it so it's mirrored to the other side and uh, you just create your own panels and yeah. But as you can see now they're not thick so we're gonna add a solidify modifier to that. All right, and next I'm gonna show you how to cut some holes in it. So I have a cylinder here that we're just gonna turn on the uh, snap to face and then using the normals. Then we're gonna select our cylinder and shift select the shape and press control and minus on the numpad and this will create a difference boolean. You can still move it around, uh, scale it up, scale it down to your liking. And here's the same process for the quad sphere for the base shape. So we're just going to position the cube we want to cut, then we're going to select the cube and then shift select the quad sphere and control minus on the numpad and this will create the cut. Another quick tip is that you can uh, bring out a panel uh, wherever you want in your screen to have some image reference if you don't have two screens to work with Pure Ref. So here's one of the images on our Pure Ref that uh, we really like for uh, our reference. As you can see, it's pretty similar. Once you've applied the uh, solidify modifier, you can select those edges on the side and create some bevels to make some round edges. So I'm not going to show you the whole full process of modeling, but you get the idea on where to start, which is where I get stuck most of the time. I'm also going to cut a hole for the eye on the front with a cylinder. 
then we're going to select the quad sphere and then press shift s and then select uh, to select it so we're going to position the uh, cursor to that in the middle next we're going to select our cylinder and then press shift s and then select to cursor and then we're going to reposition it on the y-axis and then we cut the hole Alright, and lastly I'm going to show you how to make those uh, pipes stuff with the cylinder. So we're going to shift A and select cylinder. I'm going to bring here to the right and then we're going to scale it on the Z axis and always um, apply all transform before making some bevels. First, we're going to select the top face. We're going to press I to inset it and then E to extrude on the Z axis. We're going to inset again and then press E to extrude again on the Z axis. And then repeat the process depending on what you're doing. We can also press on Ctrl R to add some loop cuts and we can uh, Ctrl B to bevel those loop cuts. Then we're going to press E and then right away right click to don't do anything and then press alt s to scale them on their normals so that's pretty much that next we're going to turn on snap to face and we're going to position it on our shape but first we're just gonna reposition the origin of the shape so it snaps correctly. You can also repeat the process for the body as we can see here. So this concludes this uh, quick tutorial today. So we hope that it will give you some sparks to start up your model. This is where I mostly get stuck at the beginning. So just a quick uh, scene walkthrough, we've added a background and then we added some light, some haze, some lens flare, and then some uh, compositing nodes to uh, make the uh, final image. So if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, blah, blah, blah. You hear that in every video in the world. And uh, yeah, so uh, sorry it's been a while we've re since we've released uh, our last video because we're working on something new that's going to be pretty cool. It's an add-on. So again, happy new year and happy blending.